Okay, just a quick little note to talk about the CSS border property. Borders, part of the box model, you've got padding around every element and then border and then margin. So I've put padding and margin of one REM around each of these. My font size, my default font size is 16 pixels. So that's 16 pixels of margin, 16 pixels of padding that I've got there. Now, this is the shorthand for putting a border on anything. If you want the same border on all four sides, you can just use border, that property alone. And then there's three values that we need to put in there. There is the width, the style, and the color. I'm going to set the width to one REM. I'm going to make it the same as the padding and the uh, margin. I'm going to say solid, and then the default color you can see was black, so it automatically came up there. And just to uh, make it a little bit different, I'll put a named color inside there. Okay, so we have this border showing up around all three of them. There's a one REM of padding, one REM of border, and then one REM of margin around each one of these paragraphs. Now this is called the shorthand property because it's just the one word and you can put all three values inside there. Now the alternative to this is if I come in here and I can say border width. Well, I'm going to make it one REM. I can say border color olive and border style solid. Oops, not quotation marks around that. Solid. Exact same thing. So these three properties can be condensed to this. But again, this is if you want the same border on all four sides. Now, 99% of the time you are going to want that. So you can either write the one line or you can write the three lines. But it doesn't stop there. No, you can type even more if you really enjoy typing about borders or if you need to have a different border on every side. We can specify the side. So I can say border bottom and that is going to be 1rem solid olive. There we are. So that's the border on the bottom of all four sides. This is that exception. You may sometimes want to put border on one side of something. By default, border is none on everything with the exception of an image tag that's inside of an anchor tag. That's the only time you get a border by default. So if I specified only on one side, I get the border on only one side. We can add it to all the sides individually. There we are. So I've got two different colors, two different borders. Maybe this one's only going to be eight pixels thick. There we are. So I have borders on two different sides by specifying the two. However, if you really enjoyed typing that, then if you want to break this up, you can break it up into the three different properties for each one of the sides. You can write 12 lines about your borders. We can say border bottom, or let's go left. We haven't done that one yet. Border left color is going to be aquamarine border left style is going to be let's go dashed just to use something different and border left width is going to be 10 px so again we don't have to use the same unit as we did on the other ones there we have the left border the bottom border the right border and we could make a top one and it can be completely different as well there is the keyword none if you want to specify that you want nothing at all on one side, we can do this. So you can set a default like this and then remove one side by adding border with that one side, none. Okay, so that is the border shorthand property right here. These are also considered to be shorthands. This is the full property, writing it out like this. This makes it a little bit shorter but if you want the same on all four sides, this is the way to go about it. All right, so I hope that helps out. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.